My name is Akshay. Uh, I'm qualified to practice law in India and now I'm qualified to practice law in England and Wales as well. The background to my legal career is quite expansive, so as to speak, because I qualified as a lawyer in India. Um, I worked there for about a year in disputes, uh, and then I moved to US to do my master's. Um, and thereafter, immediately finishing my master's, I, I was recruited to work for a magic circle firm, um, Freshfields, uh, in London. Um, and I was there for about two years before I decided to move to Singapore, and that was purely because I wanted to practice in arbitration, and Singapore was a good place for that practice area. There are many four reasons for deciding to take QLTS. Uh, primary amongst them is that I have practiced with an English law firm for quite a few years. Um, and, and to progress my career uh, at an English law firm, I thought it was very beneficial, going to be very beneficial. Um, and, and second uh, reason for deciding to do the QLTS was I had a lot of support from my firm uh, who were quite happy uh, for me to get this qualification as well. And I think dual qualification is something that really helps, especially for lawyers uh, trying to work in the international market. Uh, uh, I mean, not just their home jurisdiction, but in multiple jurisdictions. Uh, dual qualification really helps. So those, those are the primary reasons, so as to speak, uh, why I decided to do the QLTS. To be honest, uh, we're working lawyers, uh, and when you're working, um, you really don't have that much time um, to just concentrate on just studies, back, at, back to studies. Um, and, 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 and you needed some kind of preparatory course where you're you are given all the relevant materials for studying, uh, and that is an important aspect for preparing while you are working as well. Uh, and, and to have that uh, material readily available and provided was quite helpful. Um, so that was one of the reasons, uh, that was the reason rather, why I decided to um, do a preparatory course. And why QLTS school? Um, to be honest, uh, it was more because I think it's the only prominent school that I had heard of. Uh, and, and they market themselves really well uh, for this. So, uh, you, I mean, that was the first name that came to me. Um, and even my HR recommended to do it. So I went ahead with that. They were pretty decent experience. I mean, they do provide you with a lot of material. But what really helps is probably uh, the summary content. Because for working professionals, it's not really possible to go and sit through and read nine textbooks uh, while you're preparing. So the summaries really helped quite a bit. So that was a good experience. Um, it's quite interactive. You could talk to someone at QLTS. That was helpful uh, whenever you had issues or, or, or some questions cropped up. Uh, but having practiced law for a few years, your general understanding of common law obviously helped in preparing for QLTS. Uh, but overall, I think the content and uh, more than the general vastness of the content, the summarized form content was quite helpful for working professionals. I would say again, it was the summarized content which was quite helpful. Uh, and also the interaction with, especially during OSCE, the interaction with the, with the, the, the tutor is quite helpful because, um, uh, I mean, you deal with clients on a day-in, day-out basis, and OSCE is a practical exam. But what the examiner is looking for is not how you would probably deal with a client on a daily basis. So just to understand the mindset of the examiner was quite helpful to just talk to the tutor uh, and doing those courses with the tutor. Um, and that, that was, I think, quite helpful. I felt quite well prepared because uh, I've been practicing law for a few years now, um, and I'm a common law trained lawyer and along with the preparation work that I had done using the MCT material and the OSCE material provided by QLTS, I felt quite prepared. I, I didn't feel underprepared as such. My roles and responsibilities at Asher's LLP is that of, uh, uh, I'm a senior associate here, uh, so uh, I I, I advise clients directly, I interact with the partners, I, uh, I provide solutions to the clients uh, in their dispute matters, um, and um, I help uh, prepare submissions and so on and so forth. So yes, I mean, my role and responsibility would that be, uh, would be that of a, a mid to senior level lawyer. I think it is quite necessary to get some of form of preparation course for the QLTS generally, that includes both the MCT and the OSCE, and 
especially if if uh, you have i mean if you're not used to the english legal system then it is even more important that you get a preparatory course it's a very individual thing uh, it depends on how you are able to assess the kind of preparation you need for sitting this exam it's quite a vast syllabus some people uh, would need quite a bit of time and i would say generally as a rule of thumb you need uh, about 6 months plus of preparatory time for the mct and oski will follow again uh, depending on when you clear your mct uh, it is best to give mct and oski back to back if you can because there's a lot of uh, Uh, re retention from your MCT exam, which is again applied in the OSCE, um, uh, and um, uh, if you are thinking of doing doing the QLTS, it's important to make the an earnest start towards the preparation. To get an English qualification uh, as a lawyer would be important to any lawyer who is thinking of building an international career. So. Uh, in in the way the legal market is uh, uh it's it's growing at 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 breakneck speed uh law firms which were traditionally based in england or the us are going out to different parts of the world and opening offices so there is an opportunity for a lawyer in every jurisdiction to become more international uh, and get associated with international firms and build an international practice as so as to speak and for doing that just a local jurisdiction qualification is not enough it is important to have an international uh, legal qualification as well uh, a regist uh, and 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 in the common law world that would either be the english system or the new york law system um and anyone who wants to make an international career has to think of doing either of the two i would say for people who are part of the commonwealth it is much easier and much better to do the qlts because you're part of the same system and the same set of laws uh, which are much easier to recognize and much easier to associate associate yourself with and uh, to be honest in this part of the world especially asia uh, it's a much preferred system of law um, than the american system so yes to anyone who wants to make an international career in law uh, i think they must think of doing uh, a dual qualification and qlts at that there are quite a few skills required to be an effective lawyer today the lawyer of of our times is not just a lawyer he's he's a lawyer he's a service provider first uh the client's interest is paramount um uh depending on which area of law you are in really if you're a commercial lawyer then client's interests are paramount if you are working in litigation in the courts then uh there is a balance that has to be made between interest of the client and what is right by the legal system so what the lawyer of today needs to be is savvy business savvy as well uh needs to be client oriented um and and simply needs to be dedicated and available 24/7